so hello students so welcome to the next session and today i'll be discussing about the topic cough so cough what is cough so the definition of cough says that it is forced expiration against a closed glottis so that the definition of the cough what i have discussed over here it is it is forced expiration against a closed glottis so the on the basis of the duration of the cough so the cough can be broadly divided on the basis of duration into three broad categories that is the cough which is of an acute onset that is on next that is of a sub acute onset and third that is of the chronic cough so students i would like to say that in a, if a cough if, if the duration of the cough is less than 2 weeks then it is said to be a, of an acute onset moving on to the next category that is the sub acute onset so if the duration of the cough is between 3 to 8 weeks it can be categorized in the category of sub acute cough so moving on to the third category that is the chronic cough cough that is if the cough is persisting in a patient for greater than 8 weeks then it comes under the category of chronic cough so the conditions where acute onset the cough is of acute onset it can be seen the mnemonic or the short trick i have made of this acute onset is puf that is puff so the p of the puff refers to pneumonia so in cases of pneumonia the patients are going to have a cough which is of a duration less than 2 weeks next is the uh, uh, next the u refers to the upper respiratory tract infections so the u refers to the upper respiratory tract infections and the final s refers to the foreign body aspiration so the f of the puff refers to the foreign body aspiration moving on to the cough which is of a sub acute onset so the cough which is of a sub acute onset in this we have made the mnemonic a ap and post nasal drip that is in the patients of asthma in the patients of post nasal drip and in atypical pneumonia the duration of the cough is between 3 to 8 weeks that is in the patients of asthma atypical pneumonia and post nasal drip the duration of the cough is for between is between 3 to 8 weeks now moving on to the third category that is the chronic cough so a patient is said to have a chronic cough when the duration of the coughing reflects the cough reflex is of a longer duration that is of a greater than 8 weeks so if the cough is going to persist for a greater than 8 weeks period then it is called as a chronic cough and the examples of chronic cough most commonly include the tuberculosis the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and the lastly the lung cancer in cases of lung cancer the cough is of a longer duration greater than 8 weeks now moving on to the suppurative lung disease so actually what is suppurative lung disease wherever the term students wherever the term suppurative is added it refers to production of a pus so whenever in suppurative lung disease there can occur there are basically two diseases what comes under suppurative lung diseases the first is the lung abscess and the next is the bronchiectasis so and bronchiectasis there is an abnormal dilation dilatation of the bronchi so in lung abscesses and the bronchiectasis the foul smelling cough is present so students out there one thing more i would uh, today the topic in this topic i will be mostly focusing upon the important mcqs the famous mcqs what are asked on cough and the presentation so the character of cough let's discuss about the character of the cough so the character of the cough when talking of the cough can be of a dry nature or it can be of a productive nature so the cough which is of a dry nature is of can be looked upon as the cough which is dry in nature it occurs in atypical pneumonia pleural effusion and extrinsic compression of the airway so whenever there is an extrinsic compression of an airway the cough which is there it is of a dry in nature so in atypical pneumonia 
pneumonia, the cough, which is dry in nature. I have already dis discussed in my previous videos on pneumonia that in atypical pneumonia, basically the secretions are not in the alveoli. They are outside, they are outside the interstitial spaces between the alveoli of the lungs. So in atypical pneumonia, the cough which the patient manifests is of a dry nature. It is of a dry nature. Moving on to the next uh, category where there is productive cough is present. So the productive cough is present in those conditions such as in typical pneumonia when the secretions, the nasal secre the secretions are particularly present in the alveoli. Next, the superative lung disease, productive cough is present and in bron chronic bronchitis, the superative cough is present. So students, as I have already told you, in this video, I'll be discussing upon the different MCQs, the very famous MCQs about cough, which are mostly asked in all the competitive exams, whether it be NEET, PGI, AIMS, whatever the competitive exams of the medical field, the cough, the questions, the very famous questions what are being asked is on the color, color of the cough. So the color of the cough is varies from different, different uh, diseases. So in different, different kinds of um, diseases, different, different kinds of ailments, the color of the cough is going to vary. Now the first cough, I already have told you in the previous thing that the lung abscess and bronchi abscesses, the patient shows a foul smelling cough is present. And if this, this foul smelling cough, that is in lung axis and bronchi axis, it is called as bronchorrhea. So bronchorrhea is called whenever there is a secretion of more than 100 ml of sputum per day, it refers to bronchorrhea. Moving on to the next category, that is the bovine cough. So bovine cough, it is seen, bovine kind of a cough, bovine refers to the cows and the cattle. So bovine cough is seen in that is the cough here is of a silent nature. That is, it is a silent cough and it occurs due to the recurrent laryngeal nerve palsy. Moving on to the next category, that is the barking cough. So the barking cough is seen in the patients of laryngotracheobronchitis. All right, moving on to the next very important MCQ, that is the brassy cough. So patients who have a brassy cough, the color of the cough is somewhat of a brass color that is in the patient it is elicited when there whenever there is a compression of the lymph nodes on the trachea moving on to the next very famous mcq since class 12 standard students you might be reading that the whooping cough so whooping cough is present in the pertussis infection so pertussis infection is going to show whooping cough moving on to the next kind of next color of the cough that is the red rusty sputum. So the cough in which a red rusty sputum is present, it is in the cases of streptococcus pneumoniae. So the patients who are suffering from pneumonia, that is if the patient, if the host is going to be infected by streptococcus pneumoniae, the color of the cough will be of a red rusty in nature. Moving on to the red current jelly sputum. So the current jelly color of the sputum is there, red current color and the jelly consistency of the sputum is seen in Klebsiella pneumonia. Moving on to the next category, whenever there is a greenish yellow, whenever there is a greenish yellow color of the cough, it is mostly seen in pseudomonas infection. That is in pseudomonas infection as we have already seen that pseudomonas in infection is mostly occurring in the patients of burns the patients who have severe burns they mostly exhibit the they mostly show pseudomonas infection so in pseudomonas infections the patients have a greenish yellow cough moving on to the pink frothy sputum so the pink frothy sputum is mostly seen in pulmonary edema that is in pulmonary edema and in the black colored uh, cough is seen in aspergillosis and in coal workers so the pink frothy sputum students, you can just remember the PF and the PO. PFPO is the mnemonic to remember that the pink frothy sputum is found in the pulmonary edema. So students out there, this was my short uh, review as to how we can very easily remember the different colors, the different varieties of the cough and the typical colors. So this uh, was my lecture discussion on cough. 
So students, if you do like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.